Greetings and salutations, I'm Kev. Welcome back to this Let's Play of Pandora First Contact. Our little Noxium Corporation is doing okay, I think. I don't know. <laughs> but at this point, the aliens are hard turning hostile. Well, they will very shortly. And that's gonna make life interesting. Of course, we're still exploring the seas, trying to get all the good yachts that are out there. Um, this landmass might be uh, uninhabited, but I think we might as well go by sea. It's faster. We can just pop in whenever we find ruins. Um, yeah, science finished that stuff. New training building, that's fine. High ranks. Uh, and here we also gain more research, which is another attack. There we go. Remo remote autonomous harvesting allows farmers to harvest resources from territories. Yeah, uh, that is the equivalent of the crawler unit from Alpha Centauri, if I recall correctly. Basically, allows you to harvest resources from outside your uh, grid. And that's, could, that could be useful, especially now with our former not doing anything specific. And we completed Synology, so now we are producing the next step. Yeah, that's decolonizing. Yeah, that's 10 turns away. We're going to grow to size 9 before then. And what did you say you wanted to take? You wanted to take the forest. Well, that makes sense. It's going to reduce uh, pollution. So, wait a second, can you grow even further than 3 squares? Well, that's good anyway. Uh, three squares, that means we can build a city uh, down here somewhere and get both the hot springs and the xeno flowers and whatever. And the uh, Gaia forest eventually. Uh, yeah, building a city there might certainly have some appeal. Or on the hills, I don't know. Let's gonna bring him closer to the xeno, xeno flowers. Oh, well, we'll see what once we get the colonizer. But I think we want to go down there. I have the Deadlock ev Illusion Field. Uh, okay, device plus 25 power when defending. Device checks your advanced attacks. Da, 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 da. Yeah, that's good. That's definitely something we want on our Colonial Troopers. I think. And why not? Them too. Basically, I'm gearing my units towards... Uh, aliens. Well, why not the, the former two? They're not never gonna have much power, but uh, every little bit helps, I suppose. Uh, two, there are two choices really with formers: either you just keep them as basic as possible and you rebuild them as they get destroyed, or you build them into small little tanks that can actually withstand a fair amount of damage. Uh, I want to see if I can do anything with that ocean square. Meanwhile, I'm exploring the territory north of her just to steal anything we can. Steal anything we can. This is a xenomorph transport. Can they withstand? Let's see. I'm wondering if it counts the units as a transport or as a xenomorph. Basically. We probably don't want to end our turn next to alien wildlife at this point. Because they can get cranky with us. Really cranky. You don't want that. Uh, what's the five above? Oh, that's the defensive unit strength. Yes, must be. Yeah, two plus three is five. Yeah. Yeah, and the transport was damaged. So it counted as a transport, not as a xenomorph. Uh, would you care to share vision? Sure, let's sh share map us again. You aren't at sea yet, as far as I can tell. Uh, fungal transport, yeah, you can't do anything with naval terrain. I didn't really expect it either, but... Uh, it was worth a shot. Um, that means we could probably use you to drag in resources. 
but from land squares only. I assume. Right? Yeah. Um. I don't even know where to send you then. Go up here for now. Try to. You are gonna go through the mess here. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. That was this big, big bad sea animal again. Ooh, a sunken ruin. So do you take damage because you count as a mechanical unit? Okay. Lesson learned. Uh, that's a bit dangerous. We are gonna start and turn next to them, but... What's the worst that could happen, huh? Hmm. Let's see. Grow forest, build mine. Automate, improve close assist. Isn't there a button for... No, I don't see anything. Infestation. <laughs> cool. Um, okay, do I need a project? Okay, I need a project first. Okay. So I can't make the harvesters do fun things right away. But I suppose I could get the units to do things. Um, Can I tell you to be upgraded? Can I upgrade you? Uh, not from here. Uh, military. Refit, there we go. And that's this unit. So I want to refit it. Uh, to the new design with steel armor and deadlocks. Yeah, all that fun stuff. Uh, okay, 72 credits. Play that. And the other colonial trooper, which is also defending. I want that also to be refit and get the extra uh, evasion thingy bob. Can I refit units that are out in the field? No. That's fine then. Uh, destroy improvement. No, that's not what I wanted to do. I want you to build a road that direction. You finished exploring. That's just an oil field. It's nothing exciting there. Sunken ruin, go. More money. Take that. Now the sunken ruin. Um... Yeah. I'm pretty sure there's a lot more map to the south. Can't all be this much frozen wasteland. Wait. Um. Really? Oh dear, okay, so the map isn't just... Uh, an Earth map. It is a donut map. It is a donut map because you wrap the map around the poles as well as the edges. Oh, okay. Was that some something I clicked? I don't know. That's kind of annoying. <laughs> How would that even work? So basically you're telling me this is the North Pole more or less. Huh. Well then. Okay, so the map isn't as big as I thought then. Okay, and you're building an adaptive bunker wall. So that basically increases... Uh, yeah. 50% bonus for defending units, plus 100% power versus operations, all the special attacks. Um, 
Right, you're here. You can... Can you do anything here? You can build a road. So you'll do that. Okay, then this map is going to be far smaller than I thought, if that's the, this is the case. Uh. I thought I picked a large map, but suddenly I'm not certain <laughs> that's the case. Because if we really have this, this map can't be large at all. Then the map is pretty darn small, because there are supposed to be seven factions on the map. Huh. I must be missing something. Oh wait, at any rate. Finished all the research fields. So now we are on the next uh, section. What we need more than everything else. Salt Tactics Tweaker, Titanium, Fungus Cultivation. Quantum physics tabs. Uh, tank. Uh, factory sounds lovely, as uh, did the uh, science thingy, Bob. Better guns. Pandoran construction. I prefer the inf infrastructure things if I can. Is there anything in the next tier that we could use code? I know. Oh, we definitely want modular housing. Colonization fervor. Which is a project. Let's try that. Let's see if something in interesting comes of it. Let's try these first. Let's find out what we need over time. Uh, yeah, and Buffett grew to another size, which slowed down the colonizer. Really? Mm, it looks to be the case. Uh, yeah, morale is now a bit poor. Nothing we can do about it right now. And we're way, way short hab of habitat. So we should begin to spread out. I'll, I'll get things done. A colony, a colonizer will take population. I don't know how much population. Oh yeah, I forgot to... I was about to say, I should get send my units out to defend. Uh, lost our former due to that. Boo! I was meant to do that. I meant to send one of those units out to defend the colonizer and forgot. Ah. I feel suitably done now. Huh. If the map isn't bigger than this actually suggests, uh, then that other continent has a ton of factions just bunched up together. That can't be right. Can't be right. The map has to be bigger than it suggests here. But yeah, these little critters decided to be evil. Um... So, let's return the favor. And you just heal up. Ooh, another ruin. Uh, we 
should be safe in that square. And we found a gold vein. First one we actually discovered. Extra gold production. And by the looks of it... And the university faction looks to be there. Mm. Ooh, are you in a uh, ruin? Let's get nearby. He wants all the good things. Well, there we go. Mr. Reed. Um, militarist. Okay, uh, guarantee of peace. Good choice. Movement? No, not yet. Trading pact? Sure, you're willing to trade. Uh, research? Yeah, we need to do that. Uh, we'd like to share maps. Awesome. And yeah, okay. <laughs> there's actually, I believe there's an achievement for that. Um. I very much doubt that I agree to it, but uh, well, not right now. Uh, oh, yeah. And now we find the other guys. Okay, um, because by sharing his map, we found the others. So let's see now. This is the industrialist dweller. Uh, Okay, uh, that's it. Uh, all is valuable. And then we find her as well. Okay. So, three factions. There, there, and there. Okay, suddenly I shouldn't complain about my... <laughs> I really thought the large maps were larger than, larger than this. Much larger. But okay. They feel quite cramped, actually. Okay, so now we found four of the factions. We're the fifth, and that leaves two factions, I think, which is the university and the diplomats. They haven't explored much at all. I mean... These three guys, they have not fully explored their continent. Huh. Okay. I haven't spread out either. You start with an observatory. Let's have a look. What do you guys start with? Oh, you have a isogen field. High production then. Uh, you... Not much of anything, really. Very average altogether. You have some good squares a bit out though. You start with an observatory as well, and uh, we have a hot spring. At any rate, we've made contact with all these people. We have research and trading pacts going. Which increase in yield by the length of time they're active. Hmm. And well, how do I interpret these things? Respected by other factions and low military strength compared to what? I don't know. Uh, unraveled economy compared to what? I don't know, and so on. I kind of assume that this is compared to us somehow, but uh, I can't quite make it to, to reason that everybody has a superior economy to us, given our modifiers. Um, is there any way to see by some kind of graphical display of this? Statistics. This is happy, we're in good terms with everybody. Mm. 
Oh yeah, that's probably it. They have had trade impacts be between them. So, of course, they're gonna get bonuses from that. And by sharing maps with them, they now know each other. Ah, yes, that that's a, that's a negative. <laughs> Lovely events. Uh, I don't think we have any kind of statistics on that. Economic. Uh, okay. This is just our own economy and our own military. Uh, no research. Yeah, that's not what I'm after. Wait, you have spread out. You found another little town further south, bastard. Um, and she's the first one to spread out too. The others haven't done that yet. Oh well. We'll cap. We'll catch up. And not that. I go. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa! What's happening now? No, secret TV destroyed. Leviathan basically killed us. Evil Leviathan. No. Whoa! What did I do now? Did I move that tank? Ugh. Back to sea with you. I think I moved that other ship. That's not what I wanted to do. Or did I? No, I didn't. Okay. So I lost my ATV exploration unit. It got munched. That's unfortunate. Let's see, that's the Guardian. The Xenomorph, that's this one, I think. Yeah. Well, then we actually have open space. I thought we were... I, f I was kind of thinking, oh, this wasn't much in terms of land, but apparently it is quite a bit of land. And if this is an indication, I'm not supposed to spread too much either, according to the game. Dinner 8, things happen there, and they praise each other. Signed, peace, have you been at war? Okay. Aggression, on aggression yeah, that's fine. Oh dear. Ow. Yeah, that's that colonial trooper. These things are actually moving faster than I thought. I thought they could only move one square. But they can certainly move more than that, and they are quite hostile at this point. Mm, that's not good. Ah, that's not what I wanted you to do. I will. Ah, uh, I will. So we're kind of running out of units. Uh, cancel movement. Where? Cancel order. There we go. So we lost another one. Got our industrial automation going. And we lost the ATV transport as well. Yeah, another Leviathan decided, mm, yum, I'll eat you. Hold position right there, please. Because now we have a colonizer. And it will need defenses until we can actually find a place for it. Yeah, okay, so we're gonna lose quite a few units. It might have been that we pissed the aliens off by attacking them, come to think of it, but, um... Nothing ventured, nothing gained, huh? Um, as for Buffett, you're probably gonna build something else, I think. That automated factory certainly sounds appealing. So we're gonna buy it. 
And we'll see what we can do after that. But for now, I think we're going to need to take a break. So we're going to do that. Thank you for watching.